Hi, I'm Pete, and this is a tutorial on the Stingray Puzzle from Viri Puzzle. Now, the Stingray is a variant of the Core to V1.0 puzzle, and uh, the variation is that the uh, octagonal face doesn't turn, and the sticker scheme is, is quite a bit simpler. Uh, in fact, it's little Stingrays. You see his little mouth there, his little tail and so on. So for experienced puzzlers, this is uh, going to be, um, what you'll get out of this is just a, a chance to see what a stingray is all about, what this all looks like. Uh, and if you're a relatively uh, new puzzler, then I'm gonna show you some techniques that will help you solve not only this puzzle, but uh, other similar puzzles. And uh, I think that, uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, the first thing then is to scramble it. And what I recommend you do is pick one uh, face, uh, say uh, I have the one here that has the white on it, and uh, start there to make sure that you get a good scramble. Now, um, the these uh, smaller uh, round faces, I call them rectangular faces because they, they can only flip, it's all they can do. And these uh, hex faces uh, turn in steps of two in order to uh, line up. Uh, the puzzle uh, won't let you uh, make a mistake. It won't let you do step one. It won't turn the adjacent face. So that's how you know. So what I try to do is I'll, I'll take a piece, say like this, off of the uh, one face, and then I'm gonna try to um, move it as far away from the starting face as possible. And just keep turning faces until it's it's gone. And uh, then I can actually take a piece um, from down here, and if I want, I could bring it back. It, it doesn't really matter. That's the way I like to try to scramble something like this. So I have this piece here, and I'm going to try and move it as far as possible. Uh, the technique I'm going to show for solving this is uh, it's not complicated. I know it. Uh, uh, sometimes we use uh, complicated algorithms to solve these puzzles, but uh, in this case, we use a very simple algorithm, uh, which will uh, get you a lot of uh, a lot of use uh, on other puzzles as well. Okay, well, that's uh, I think I've got some uh, I got some progress, and then I'm going to go right back to where I started here, and I'm looking around for other uh, pieces that haven't been scrambled yet. That's the way I get the uh, this solve as organized as possible and get as good a scramble as possible. A good scramble is important because you, you spend time on the scramble, um, but if you uh, if you don't spend enough time, it can um, you, you don't get as good of a an experience when you're solving it. It's not as much of a challenge. Okay. Okay, and we'll get that one. So yeah, so I always like to invest as, as much time in the scramble as I, you know, just to uh, just to make sure it's a good, a good scramble. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we'll just keep going just a little bit more here. Actually, I think that's looking, looking quite good. We'll just move a few of these now. So, um, yeah, Very Puzzle has made a few uh, variants of, of their puzzles in the past. I always like to see that. The Chord is a fairly new um, series, I think. And uh, so far, we, we've got this variant, and I'm sure that uh, you know, with it, within a pretty short period of time, we'll get some more variants as well. Um, yeah, this one, um, the cord also has textured stickers on it, which really up the difficulty level of the puzzle. This one has the matte stickers. Um, it doesn't really matter for this particular puzzle, but uh, for others, it, it can make a difference. Um, it can basically increase the solving challenge quite a bit, having textured stickers. Okay, let's take a look around and see if uh, see if this is looking 
Looking good. I think this is actually looking pretty good. All right, with the Stingray puzzle scrambled, the first step that I'm going to recommend is going around and straightening out all of the uh, these um, center pieces. Okay, the centers. And the way we do that is recognize that the um, octagonal faces don't turn. So that's what we can use to gauge uh, whether things are lined up or not. So this blue goes with that. That's good. This one has to turn. And we'll just turn it until they match. And then we'll turn that until it matches. Okay, we'll turn the, uh, the rectangular pieces as well. There we go. All right, so all of that, this one has to, to go. And so this, I've started here, so now I'm just going to go around the puzzle. Okay, that one's good, that one's good. That one has to flip. That one has to flip. Okay, and now that, I, now that I've, I'm more than halfway, I'm just going to flip it over and then start again over up here. Just make sure everything's really nicely lined up. Okay. That, and I'll just double check, and there we go. So that was the first step. So just orient all of the centers so that they match the uh, the fixed part of the, uh, uh, the puzzle. Now, I'm going to kind of use this as my top. So it's just a sticker that has white on it. It's just easier for me to remember. And when I flip it over, I've got a sticker that has yellow on it. Um, by the way, there's a little bit of adhesive residue still on the stickers. It's a fairly new puzzle. I've solved it a few times. But I'm just going to wait until I've solved it a bit. And then I'm going to wipe it off with a damp cloth. So it's not dirt. It's just, uh, it's glue from the stickers. <laughs> So I'm going to start here, and uh, I just want to keep that in mind as kind of my starting place. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to solve, I'm going to kind of spiral around the puzzle and solve as I go. Once I get to the middle, I'm going to flip it over and uh, solve it that way. So our whole idea here for solving is to uh, move these uh, two color edges, and we move three of them at a time. And it can be uh, three of them in a line. You notice this isn't quite lined up. It can be this, this, and this. It can be that, that, and that. It doesn't really matter. And uh, when we move them, um, what we're going to do, if we start here and we turn this one first, this one will go there, that one will go there, and then this one will jump over to here. Well, it so happens that blue and white, that's the one that we want there. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to start here. And all we do is we, we turn this. So we start with the left. And then we go with the right. And then we just undo what we just did. Undo the left, which is a 180 degree turn. And then undo the right. Okay. So uh, what happened then was the piece that was here went there, the piece that was there went there, and the piece that was there jumped here, and you can see we solved that piece. Okay, and that is the entire algorithm that we're going to be using. That is what is called a three cycle, and it just cycles these uh, pieces. It is a very, very powerful technique. So I'm just going to look around now for other possibilities to um, use that and other pieces to solve that are in this area. I don't want to go too far uh, because I just want to uh, kind of stick to uh, stick to this area. Um, so I notice here, um, let's see. I don't want to get, get too far. Okay, this is a good one right here. So you see this um, blue and red, um, goes right there so we have a three cycle if I can somehow get this one to jump here and then that one to go to there that one to go to there that'll work and the way we do that is we start on this side okay so this time we'll start on the right this one will go here this one will go there and then this one will jump over okay so we'll go uh, right left and then we undo what we just did right and 
left. And indeed, that piece went where it belongs. Okay, so this is this is very exciting, and this is exactly how we're going to solve uh, this uh, this puzzle. We just keep looking around for the pieces that are going to go. And uh, yeah, this is this is it. So uh, pink, this pink. Mm, okay, this burgundy. I see this burgundy here. Ah, okay. So so now we have. This burgundy and green, and that burgundy and green. So this is a, a good place to introduce setup moves. Because right now, we want to move this piece here, but it's not in a row of three. But the way the puzzle works is you can always turn a piece that you want into another piece and use it in a uh, an algorithm, as long as you remember to undo it at the end. So that's called a setup move. So we move the piece from here to here, and now this can jump over here. So we need to do the algorithm this way, uh, and then it'll do the jump. So let's just do that. Go left, right, left, right. Okay, that's great. Our piece jumped. Now we have to remember to undo our setup move. And the nice thing about this is it doesn't hurt anything. As long as the, uh, the piece that you started with that you did the setup move on is one that you don't that's not already solved and it isn't because you wouldn't use it if it was so now we've got that one and i'm just i'm going to keep going around here remember i want to try and solve everything around this face here as much as possible so there's a white and orange i like that that goes right there so here's another example of how we might need to use a setup move so um, let's see, I just, I'm going to try and see if I can make this uh, obvious. So this piece goes here and um, we can do a couple of things actually. And one of the easiest things, because we have a, another piece that's not uh, spoken for over here, that's not solved, these two pieces. So if we could somehow put the piece we need here instead of over here, then we could do the three cycle. So we'll do a setup move to move this slot right here. There we go. And then that goes there. Now we got to think about how this works because we want this piece to land there. So if we start from the right, then this piece will go here, that piece will go there, which is what we want, and then that piece will leap over there. And that's exactly how we want it to work. So I'll start from the right. Now the nice thing about this is that if you make a mistake, it's not uh, with this type of puzzle, not a big deal. If you make a mistake on your three cycle, just do it. Keep doing it until it, it's fixed, right? You can do it uh, one more time or two more times. So we have this fixed. Uh, this one's in, in place, but now we have to remember to undo our setup move. That's the, the one tricky bit about this. And now all of those pieces are solved. This is great. I also see that this one now goes in there. And because we want to go this way, we'll start over here. We'll go there, there, and there. And then that one will leap over. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, the, the nice thing about this is that it doesn't really matter you, if you get lost, if you sort of forget in the middle of it. Um, you can just uh, stop and just put all the faces back. Uh, reorient them and then start over. It doesn't really hurt very much on this puzzle to make a mistake. So that one's done and now, you know, I really kind of like to, yeah, so I don't see anything there. Ah, there's the piece. So this one is way over here. Now, do you think we can find, so now, so we have this piece, this piece, and this piece. So if I could somehow put this piece right there, then I could do my three cycle. Can I do that? And the, the answer is absolutely, as long as you remember and you do everything in reverse order. So we turn the big um, face, now we're turning the small face, okay? And now we have this, this, and this, and we want this to leap over. So that means I gotta start on this side, okay? And again, if you got that backwards and you did it and then it doesn't work, do it one more time and it'll actually be right because of the way this works. So we're going to start here. So we got left. Okay, I just I got to turn now a little bit. Oop, okay, and everything wasn't quite lined up. 
right, left, right. Okay, that's great. That's done. But now we got to remember to undo our setup moves and we have to undo it in the reverse of what we did. Okay, so we got to uh, move. Uh, okay, this one's okay. We didn't move that. It's that one that we flipped first. I mean, second. <laughs> and then we got to undo this one. And you'll see that it actually doesn't hurt anything at all. Okay. Okay, I, it's just, it doesn't matter which way you turn it. I just, I have a, pr a preference and it just, it was sticking a little bit. Okay, well, we got that one. Now, this is, this is going really, really well. Um, let's see now. I'm just, I'm keeping going. I don't want to get too far down the puzzle um, because then we'll, we'll run out of uh, room here. So I see this one belongs over here. So again, we're going to look and see if I can yeah so so we want actually it's that right there we want to solve that one so I can move this piece to say right here and then it'll be in line so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one setup move another setup move and this puzzle is a very tiny puzzle so it seems like we're doing a lot of setup moves but uh, on really really big puzzles you can do four or five set of moves sometimes <laughs> it's crazy okay there we go and we cycled it it's in and now i have to undo my setup moves okay always remember to undo them now when i was over here earlier i saw something oh yes this one right here actually goes there and that one goes there so why not solve those ones then i think anyway let me have a look here because i i'm Okay, that one actually goes there. Oh, well, how cool is this? Okay. Right. Okay. So I definitely want to um, put this one uh, over there. Now, this is tricky because we have one that's already solved here. So one of the ways that we can we can get around this is just move the piece, one of the pieces, a little closer there we go so this is uh the piece that we want to put in here and we want to go we want this to leap over so i'm going to start from this side so we'll go left right left right okay so now this is good now the next one is um this one right here, see this purple and gray, that actually belongs there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a setup move to put the slot here. Um, and then I'm going to do a setup move to put the slot here. So we've got these two. So this one will go there. Oh, okay. So we want this one to leap. So when we want it to leap, we have to start in this direction. So we'll go here, here, and here. Okay, getting that right sometimes, um, like it takes a little practice. So again, if you get it wrong, you know, don't don't sweat it. As a matter of fact, I think I just did get it wrong. Yes, this one actually goes there. So whatever I just did, I, I messed it up. But that's okay because this one goes there, that one goes there, that one goes there. So all I have to do is go from the right and it'll be it'll be okay. I don't know how I how I messed that up, but it happens so right left right left yeah i just wasn't <laughs> there you go i don't know what i did now the last one is that this one goes there and we you see we have a line there so i think i'd like to do that so let's give that a try so we want it to go that way so we'll start over here Okay, that worked out. So we have a couple here that aren't uh, solved. Uh, and let's see if I can uh, find them. I don't want to get too far here. Uh, let's see, brown and gray. Oh, there it is. So there's our brown and gray. Now, with something like this, it's uh, there's the brown and gray. And our, our slot is way over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this piece 
the slot up to the top here, up to here. That's one setup move. Then I'm going to move this over. This is what we want to put the uh, brown and gray in right there. And now we have a, a three cycle there, there, there. Actually, we want this one to leap over. So we'll start there now. But don't be confused because remember, we moved the slot, right? So that's really where we want the brown and gray. I know it's very confusing, but I'll show you how this works. So let's do our three cycle. Okay, there we go. So we put our brown and gray there and then we undo all of our setup moves. And look at that, there's the brown and gray. And then when we flip it around, ah, it's perfect, we solved that. You see how this works? This is a very powerful technique. I'm gonna put this, uh, this face back and uh, I'm looking around now for um, uh, places where I can put that. That one goes there. As a matter of fact, these all, I think these all go together. So we'll be, uh, we'll be looking at these. So yeah, so this, I want it to, mm, no, I want this one to leap over, which means we'll start in this direction. So let's do that. Okay, so that one got solved. Now this one goes there, so let's go that way. So I'll go there, 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 and there. Look at that, that one's done. Okay, and then this one goes there. Now this gets, gets a bit complicated. We have one, two here, but then that's solved. But the nice thing about doing setup moves is that you can move an unsolved piece and use it as long as you undo the setup move. Okay, so now we want um, this to go here. So we'll start in this direction. Okay, so, um, and so that went in and now we'll undo the setup move and you'll see that we didn't hurt this piece at all, right? That's really kind of cool. I really like that. Now we are having a bit of a, a dilemma over here. So I want to actually find it. There it is right there. And you notice this one, this one. And then if we move the slot over to here, we'll have a, a nice three cycle set up here. We want this one to leap over. So we'll start on the left. Yeah, this is a very powerful technique. And look at that, that, um, that one is solved nicely. Okay. Now, um, I, I'm sort of, I just want to take a look here because we just kind of been slowly kind of creeping down the puzzle here, which is great. Um, but I don't want to lose track of the fact that I want to solve all these ones up here, uh, as, as soon as possible early on, if I can, um, so now I'm just trying to find where, so I want an orange and a blue up there. Definitely want to solve that. Hmm. It's way down here. So in a case like this where I, there's a really long way between the target and then the nearest uh, three cycle, this is the one we want to put in. What I will do is move the slot. And this is going to be the biggest three cycle we've done, or the biggest, sorry, the biggest setup move we've done. But you know what? It's fine. It'll work. Let's, let's do it. So what I'd like to do is put the slot right there. So we go there, 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 and there's the slot. So it's uh, blue and orange. So that's where blue and orange goes. Okay, this is where we got to have faith. Got to have faith that this puzzle, uh, it's going to work. Our technique is good. We know what we're doing. So there's the three cycle and we want this one to leap over, which means we're going to start there. So let's do it. Okay, we got faith. It's going to work. So now we got to figure out how to undo these setup moves, but here's how you, it can help you. All you have to do is remember the, the last one you moved, that one. And now you're going to put the face back because remember, you, you started as the first step, which having the uh, these uh, centers all lined up. So then this is the next one you moved. 
So we'll, we'll line that one back up. And this is the, the first one that we moved. And look at that. It's back. You see, we were able to undo it all. We only had to remember uh, one of them. So it, it doesn't seem like it, but we've been making a lot of progress here. And uh, we're almost done. Almost done here. Brown and, um, let's see, brown and lavender. Purple, pink, don't know. Let's see if I can find that. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. And again, we have this, t this thing where the one slot is kind of away from the, the ones that we want to work with. So I think it's safe to say we'll, we'll, we'll move this slot over to here. So let's give this a try. Okay. So this is the brown and lavender or purple or violet or whatever. You, I don't know what you call it. There it is. Okay. So, and it doesn't matter which one of these we move, um, but we just want that one there. So the way it works is if we start here, this will go there, that will go there, and then that will leap, leap over there. So let's do it that way. And in case you're wondering why I didn't do the top one, there was actually no reason at all. I could have done the top one as well. Okay. So before I do anything else, I got to put this back. I got to undo my setup moves. Okay, and now you, now it makes sense, right? It, it's like you look at it and you go, uh, that doesn't match. But when we put the slot back, it now matches. So we're here. We're kind of working towards this, this side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip this up um, just, just so we can see what we have left to go. So I have this uh, red and uh, white here. That one actually looks good. I think I'll put that one in. That one goes there. Okay, I think we have some some good uh, good stuff we can do here. So I'm going to start going this way because this one will go there. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in there. So to move this one into this slot, we got to start from the left. All right. Look at that. So that one's done. Now this one I want to leapfrog over, which means we also have to start from the left. Okay, so that one's good. Now this actually goes right here. So we might as well. Oh, this is going to be great because if I put that one there, that'll solve that. And then that'll go there, that'll go that. So we're almost there because this one belongs here. Yeah, I see one more piece that we need. Uh, as a matter of fact, I wonder. No, let's let's do it that way. We'll, we'll put it in this way. Lots of different ways to do this, but it'll work. Okay, so now we have this piece, this piece, and this piece. That's all that's left. So we kind of need to do um, some setup moves, though. Let's put this back. No, I'm, I'm not sure if that's going to be helpful. Actually, no, <laughs> it's definitely not helpful. These pieces are all kind of scattered, and what we really need is for them to be near each other. So I've got these two are next to each other. So all I have to do is move this right there. And we know how to do that. We, we've done this three or four times now or six. There we go. So now I have the three pieces that we need in a row. Now this slot belongs here, which is pink and blue, which means that. So we want this one to leapfrog over here. This one goes here. It'll solve that. And that one goes there and it'll solve that. Now, you're always going to end up with three pieces to solve at the end. It'll never happen that you just have one or two. That's it. You got to have faith. It's going to work. So where are we going? We're going that way. So we have to start from this side. It, it always works. Okay, so that's good. But we have to undo our setup moves. So... Uh, and the way I'm going to figure that out is lining this one up. I see that uh, this one didn't. We might have one more move to do then because it didn't actually solve the way I thought. Uh, let's see. What did I, what happened here? Okay, I'm going to, um, no, that one's not. Okay, I think I got a little ahead of myself because there's, there's one, there's two. That one also, no, this one's good. Okay, let's see here. All right. 
you know what the issue is? The issue is that this one is is flipped. Ah, okay, I forgot to, I don't think I undid my setup moves properly. Oh my, okay, well, <laughs> it's like, yeah, and there we go. Okay, so I had expected it to solve, and what I did, I didn't, I, I just was uh, staring right at a, a um, face that was uh, flipped. I, I had to undo this setup move, and then I would have recognized it. So, oh, well, that sort of thing happens. Um, but that's what I'm saying. This puzzle's pretty forgiving, and it was pretty obvious what the issue was once I started turning faces. Well, that's it for the Stingray puzzle. I I hope that you, uh, you agree that this is a pretty straightforward solve. It's one that uh, for uh, someone who's fairly new to puzzling, um, will be just a, a nice kind of challenge and it'll give you lots and lots of practice on using that very important uh, three cycle um, and um, yeah and once you use that you can use it to uh, solve even harder puzzles well as always i do appreciate your comments your questions or suggestions so uh, let me know what you think in the comments uh, let me know if there's other puzzles in the very puzzle family that you'd like to see solved or just other puzzles in general. And uh, anything else you want to say in the comments, I always uh, appreciate hearing from you. Well, until next time, thanks for watching.